hearing a lot of reports uh, around here, and I know I've seen some stuff going on statewide about neighbors reporting on other neighbors for not following the orders. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of rebellion out here against uh, your orders, which have been called tyrannical, against local health department orders um, being uh, equated to Nazism. Um, what do you, how do you react to that? What do you say to those people who are clearly getting frustrated with this uh, stay-at-home order? Well, well, first of all, as you know, as, as a, a, a Jewish American who lost family in the Holocaust, I'm offended by any comparison to uh, Nazism. Uh, we act. Uh, we act to save lives. The exact opposite of the uh, slaughter of six billion Jews and, and many uh, Gypsies and Catholics and uh, gays and lesbians and Russians and, and so many others. Uh, that being said, we know that these steps are difficult and it's not a contest to see what you can get away with. Uh, it's a contest to see how well you can stay at home. Um, you're not, by, by not staying at home, by having parties, by congregating, you're not, you're not sticking it to the government, you're not sticking it to, to Jared Polis, you're sticking it to yourself uh, because you're putting yourself and your loved ones in jeopardy and you're prolo prolonging the economic pain and difficulties that your fellow Coloradans face. Now's the time for us to act with unity, to act together, to be able to do the best that we can to stay at home except when absolutely necessary so that we can open up sooner rather than later, so that we can have more freedom quicker rather than later, and that we can create a sustainable way for us to get by as a state and as a country.